soldiers still face pockets of entrenched enemies along the rugged Pakistan border. Men like Ahmad Shah, better known to his followers as Commander Ismail. He operates here, in the Petch Valley. Shah exploits a devastating new weapon in Afghanistan. The IED, or Improvised Explosive Device. Like Al-Qaeda in Iraq, Shah uses them against US troops. In June, a team of four Navy SEALs launch a mission to kill Shah. But instead... If you don't fight, we don't kill you. Shah and his men ambush the SEALs and record the firefight. Allah Akbar. Three of the SEALs are killed in the attack. Shah scores a second victory when one of his men shoots down a rescue helicopter headed for the SEALs. All 16 on board are killed. It's the single deadliest day for the U.S. since the start of the war. Back at his base, Marine J.J. Constant watches the video shot by Shah's men. That was kind of a, a moment where I was alone in the operations center where I knew if I were lucky enough to be able to take out any of these guys, I wasn't going to be conflicted about it afterwards. Constant is a 23-year-old second lieutenant from Chicago's South Side. Now, he and his fellow Marines have their next mission. Take out Shah's cell. Operation Whalers calls for Marines to push Shah's men from the north to the south, where Constant and his platoon will be in blocking position in the Chowke Valley. Leading the unit is Marine Corps Captain Kelly Grissom. For this seasoned warrior, engaging the enemy isn't his only concern. I had learned to appreciate the difference between the map and the real terrain. I used to say it's as much the enemy as anything else is the terrain. August 13th, 2005. The Marines of Fox Company are on a grueling climb into the Chow K Valley. It was 100 degrees when we started walking in the middle of the night. It was probably 130 degrees by the time the sun came up. Captain Grissom learns the Marines in the north have been delayed. That means the journey for his men just got longer. We got several more days of moving. So I said, I want the Marines who are not on watch to take off their body armor. I wanted to get max rest and hydration, thinking we we're going to have to do this again. Grissom's men removed their body armor. But I was actually turning up and turning around to go get Captain Grissom to have a conversation with him. And sometime after that is when all hell broke loose. It was like those things on the 4th of July that kids have, those little snap things they throw. Anybody got a visual? They're on top of the hill! One of the Marines records this footage as he takes fire from the opposite ridge. Woo! First fire fight. I can't get up that hill anymore. Please, I'm the bridge. Yeah. I don't know where they're at. The Marines don't know it yet, but they are in a firefight with Shaw and his men. And I remember thinking, man, I'm in charge. I got to do something. So I start trying to get to the radio. And at some point in there in that initial contact, I can hear Corman up. So already we got wounded almost immediately. One of Grissom's men runs into the line of fire to grab a 240 machine gun. All of a sudden, that 240 comes in. And as soon as that happened, we immediately got fire superiority over those guys. Grissom calls in a medevac for his wounded. Nearby, Constant sees one of his young Marines take a shot to the chest. In my mind, it's just reinforcing the fact that I'm going to kill every one of these guys. I'm going to kill everybody that ever worked with them. I want to inflict as much pain on these people as possible. This video captures an army medevac as it finally makes its way into the valley. But as it does, one of Grissom's men spots something on the opposite ridge. Pennington sees this individual pop up with a, 
RPG. And at that second, as he made eye contact with this, this insurgent. He killed this individual right there, iron sights, no direction. The medevac is able to land and collect the wounded Marines. We just lost a helo, almost in the same area. Pennington certainly, with that one shot, saved what could have been, a, a, you know, another helo, another tragedy. Close air support helps drive back the enemy. The Marines make their way out of the Chow Ke Valley. Their mission is a success. Shah's cell is decimated. While Shah himself is badly wounded and leaves the region. We did what Marines do. We located, closed with, and destroyed the enemy forces that we came in contact with. And that's our job, and Marines are good at it. As the Marines confront a resilient enemy in the Northeast, soldiers further south along the Pakistan border also face attacks. Insurgents here cross the border at will, hunting U.S. soldiers.